Angel Reese, born May 6, 2002, is an American college basketball player for the LSU Tigers of the Southeastern Conference, SEC. Reese attended St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, Maryland, where she was awarded McDonald's All-American Honors in 2020 and was ranked the number two player in her class by ESPN. Reese joined the Maryland Terrapins as the highest-ranked recruit in program history but her freshman season in 2020-21 was interrupted by a fractured right foot. She was named a third-team All-American by the Associated Press as a sophomore. In her junior season, Reese transferred to LSU and was a unanimous first-team All-American selection. She led LSU to its first national championship, where she was most outstanding player. Reese set the NCAA single-season record in double-doubles and the SEC single-season record in rebounds. As a senior, she was named SEC Player of the Year. At the international level, Reese helped the United States win a silver medal at the 2023 FIBA Women's America Cup. She is estimated to be one of the top earners among college athletes from name, image, and likeness deals. Early life Angel Reese was born on May 6, 2002, in Randallstown, Maryland, to Angel and Michael Reese. She learned how to play basketball from her mother at a very young age and grew up playing against her brother, Julian, in their driveway. Reese competed in a recreational league in Baltimore County, where her mother also played. She emerged as one of the best players in the city and had success playing above her age group and on boys' teams. Reese played the point guard position before having two growth spurts by her first year of high school. In addition to basketball, she took part in ballet, gymnastics, swimming, and track during her childhood. Reese often attended Washington Mystics games and drew inspiration from Women's National Basketball Association, WNBA, players Candace Parker and Maya Moore, as well as former National Basketball Association, NBA, player and Baltimore native Muggsy Bogues. She was coached by Ron James with Team Takeover, an amateur athletic union, AAU, program based in Washington, D.C. that competes in the Nike Elite Youth Basketball League, EYBL, a national circuit. Her AAU teammates included Madison Scott, Mir McLean, and Jakia Brown-Turner, all of whom were given five-star ratings by ESPN at the end of their high school careers. High school career Reese attended St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, Maryland, where she was a four-year varsity basketball player under head coach Jerome Shelton. Early in her career, she was teammates with future WNBA player Nia Cloden. Due to her size and athleticism, she could play all five positions and entered the starting lineup midway through her first season. As a freshman, Reese averaged 11.1 points and 11 rebounds per game, earning all Metro first team honors from the Baltimore Sun. She helped her team win the Interscholastic Athletic Association of Maryland, IAAM a conference title and finished the season with a 30-1 record, her team suffered its only loss to Hamilton Heights Christian Academy at the high school. National semifinals, where Reese recorded 20 points and 24 rebounds and made a putback shot to beat the buzzer and send the game to overtime, she was named to the high school nationals all-tournament team. In her sophomore season, Reese repeated as an all-metro first team selection, helping St. Francis win the IAAMA Conference Championship and achieve a 24-4 record. She averaged 17.6 points, 12.1 rebounds, 3.1 assists, and 1.8 blocks per game, leading her team in all four categories. Following the season, Reese played in the Capital Classic and was named her team's most valuable player after guiding the United States Future Stars to a 115-80 win over the Capital All-Stars. She was suspended early in her junior season after punching an opposing player in the face during a preseason scrimmage. No charges were filed. Reese averaged 22.6 points and 19.3 rebounds per game as a junior and was named All-Metro Player of the Year by the Baltimore Sun after leading St. Francis to the IAAMA conference title. That year, she led team takeover to the Nike EYBL Championship posting 18 points and 11 rebounds in a 57-47 win over all Iowa attack in the final. In January 2020, Archbishop Spalding High School head coach Lisa Smith was fired from her position after her private messages on Instagram criticizing Reese's behavior were made public. Reese's mother felt that the messages included racial overtones by attributing Reese's success to being genetically gifted. 24. On January 31, 
Reese's number 10 jersey was retired by St. Francis, and she became the first female player to receive the honor. As a senior, she averaged 18.6 points, 10.2 rebounds, 3.4 assists, and 2.5 blocks per game, winning her fourth straight IAAMA conference championship and helping her team finish with a 25-3 record. Reese was selected to play at the McDonald's All-American Game and the Jordan Brand Classic, two major high school all-star games, but both were cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. She repeated as All-Metro Player of the Year and was also named High School Female Athlete of the Year by the Baltimore Sun Reese finished her career with 1,720 points, second in St. Francis history to Melba Chambers, and 1,250 rebounds. In addition to basketball, Reese was a member of the volleyball team at St. Francis, playing the outside hitter position. In her freshman season, she helped the team win the IAAMC Conference Championship, the school's first IAAM title in a sport other than basketball. Reese led St. Francis to another IAAMC Conference title as a sophomore. Recruiting Reese was considered a five star recruit, the number two player, and the top wing in the 2020 class by ESPN. By her junior season of high school, she held scholarship offers from over 24 NCAA Division I basketball programs, including Maryland, South Carolina, and Louisville. On November 1, 2019, she announced her commitment to Maryland, becoming the highest-ranked recruit in program history. Her other finalists were South Carolina, USC, Syracuse, and Tennessee. On November 13, Reese signed a national letter of intent with the program. She was drawn to Maryland because of its proximity to her home head coach Brenda Fries, who had recruited her since 8th grade, and assistant coach Shay Robinson. She preferred to play with a post player in Shakira Austin, who instead transferred from the program before Reese's first season. She was also attracted to Maryland by its strong academics and the Philip Merrill College of Journalism. College career freshman season Reese entered her freshman season in the starting lineup for Maryland, primarily as a power forward. Despite being a freshman, she was praised by head coach Brenda Fries for her leadership. Fries viewed Reese as part of the team's big three that also included Ashley Owusu and Diamond Miller. On November 27, 2020, she made her debut for Maryland, recording a season-high 20 points and 9 rebounds in a 94-72 win over Davidson at the Gulf Coast Challenge. In her fourth game, on December 3 against Towson, she suffered a Jones fracture in her right foot after landing awkwardly during the Opening minutes, she underwent surgery and was sidelined until February 23, 2021. Reese came off the bench following her return from injury. She helped Maryland win Big Ten regular season and tournament titles. At the end of the regular season, she was named to the Big Ten All Freshman team. On March 24, 2021, in the second round of the NCAA tournament, Reese scored 19 points to help second seeded Maryland defeat seventh seeded Alabama, 164. In the Sweet 16, her team was upset by 6th seeded Texas, 64, 61. As a freshman, Reese averaged 10 points and 6 rebounds per game. Following the season, she won a silver medal with the Maryland 3x3 team at the USA Basketball 3x Nationals. Sophomore season Reese returned to a starting role in her sophomore season. She described the season as a redemption year and regained confidence from before her injury as a freshman. In her season debut on November 9, Reese recorded 21 points and 14 rebounds in a 97-67 win against Longwood. On December 2, 2021, Reese had a season-high 26 points and 15 rebounds in an 82-74 win against Miami, Florida, in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. On February 14, 2022, she posted 25 points and 13 rebounds in an 81-69 victory over Iowa. Reese was named first-team All-Big Ten and made the conference's all-defensive team. She led fourth-seeded Maryland to the Sweet 16 of the 2022 NCAA tournament, where she recorded 25 points, 9 rebounds, 3 steals and 3 blocks in a 72-66 loss to first-seeded Stanford on March 25. Reese received third-team All-American honors from the AP and made the United States Basketball Writers Association, USBWA, and Women's Basketball Coaches Association, WBCA. All-American Honorable Mention As a sophomore, she averaged 17.8 points and 10.6 rebounds per game, 
becoming the first Maryland player to average a double-double since Angie Scott in 1975. On April 5, 2022, Reese entered the transfer portal with several of her teammates. She later explained that she wanted a fresh start and a coach who would develop her into a stretch four to prepare her for the WNBA. She was the most heralded transfer in the nation and took visits to Louisiana State University, LSU, South Carolina, and Tennessee. She took interest in LSU after Ohio State transfer, Kateri Poole, whom she had known since high school, suggested that they visit the school together. Junior season on May 6, 2022. LSU announced that Reese would transfer to their program, she made the decision due to her trust in head coach Kim Mulkey and a desire to join a winning culture. Reese was also impressed by the school's interest in the women's team. On November 7, she made her debut for LSU, recording 31 points and 13 rebounds in a 125-50 win over Bellarmine. Reese posted 32 points and 15 rebounds in an 88-42 victory over Lamar on December 14. She surpassed LSU's single-game rebounding record, held by Marie Jackson since 1977, during a 26-point, 28-rebound performance in a 74-34 win over Texas A&M on January 5, 2023. Reese had her 20th straight double-double on January 23, with 14 points and 14 rebounds in an 89-51 win against Alabama. She broke the program record for consecutive double-doubles, set by Sylvia Fowles during the 2006-07 season. On February 16, Reese had a career-high 36 points and 20 rebounds in a 69-60 win over Ole Mississippi. She earned first-team All-Southeastern Conference, SEC, and All-Defensive Team honors at the end of the regular season. In the first round of the 2023 NCAA Tournament, she recorded 34 points and 15 rebounds in a 73-50 win against Hawaii. Reese posted 25 points, 24 rebounds, and 6 blocks. In a 66-42 second-round win over Michigan, in the Elite Eight, she registered her 32nd double-double, breaking the SEC single-season record held by Tierra McCowan of Mississippi State. Reese was named Most Outstanding Player, MOP, of the Greenville Regional 2. In the Final Four, she set the program and SEC single-season rebounding records after posting 24 points and 12 rebounds in a 79-72 win over Virginia Tech Reese posing with Joe Biden and Jill Biden, who are both holding LSU jerseys. During her team's White House visit in 2023 Reese with President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden during her team's visit to the White House in 2023 Reese helped LSU win its first national championship, posting 15 points. 10 rebounds, and 5 assists in a 102-85. Victory over Iowa in the title game. She won the Tournament Most Outstanding Player Award and set the NCAA single-season record with 34 double-doubles. In the closing minutes of the game, Reese followed Iowa star Caitlin Clark around the court and made a you-can't-see-me gesture by waving her hand in front of her face a taunt popularized by professional wrestler John Cena before pointing to her ring finger in reference to a championship ring. Her actions came under scrutiny, with some journalists and analysts criticizing her for poor sportsmanship and others, including Reese herself, pointing to a double standard because Clark had not received similar backlash for making the you-can't-see-me gesture two games earlier, Clark later defended Reese from criticism over the gesture. The incident drew attention to the roles of race and gender in the perception of trash talk in sports since Reese is black and Clark is white. Following the game, First Lady Jill Biden remarked that she wanted Iowa to be invited to the White House along with LSU, as an addition to the custom of the President and First Lady hosting the national champions. Despite Biden's press secretary clarifying that only LSU would be invited, Reese initially rejected the invitation and said she would prefer to celebrate with the Obamas, before accepting it with her team later that week. President Joe Biden called Reese individually to congratulate her on LSU's victory. Reese was a unanimous first-team All-American, she earned first-team All-American honors from the AP and the USBWA, and made the WBCA coaches All-America team. As a junior, she averaged 23 points and 15.4 rebounds per game, becoming the first women's player in over 15 seasons to reach those marks. Reese led the NCAA Division I in total rebounds and offensive rebounds per game and ranked second to Lauren Gustin of BYU in rebounds per game, 
her 240 free throws made marked an SEC record, and she scored 830 points, the third most in LSU history. After the season, she won the BET Award for Sportswoman of the Year and the Best Breakthrough Athlete. ESPY Award she received the Corbett Award as the top female amateur athlete in Louisiana, senior season Reese with LSU in 2024 entering her senior season, Reese was named an AP Preseason All-American and Preseason SEC Player of the Year. LSU was ranked number one by the AP in its preseason poll, with incoming transfers Haley Van Lith and Anissa Morrow. On November 6, 2023, Reese recorded 15 points and 12 rebounds in her season debut as her team suffered an upset loss to AP No. 20 Colorado, 92-78, on November 14, 2023. She had 11 points and 5 rebounds in a 109-79 win over Kent State, but was benched for the second half, which Mulkey described as a coach's decision and did not elaborate, Reese did not play in LSU's. Next four games for undisclosed reasons, Mulkey later attributed Reese's absence to locker room issues. On November 30, Reese returned, posting 19 points and 9 rebounds in an 82-64 win over AP No. 9 Virginia Tech. On December 19, she shared Sporting News Athlete of the Year honors with Caitlin Clark. 98. At the end of the regular season, Reese was named SEC Player of the Year while earning first-team All-SEC and All-Defensive Team recognition from the league's coaches, national team. Career Reese attended trials for the United States team for the 2017 FIBA Under-16 Women's Americas Championship, but was not named to the final roster. She missed the cut for the 2018 Under-17 World Cup team after being a finalist. Reese was named a finalist for the 2019 Under-19 World Cup team before withdrawing to play in the Nike EYBL. She withdrew from consideration for the 2021 Under-19 World Cup for health reasons after receiving an invitation to team trials and being a finalist. Reese made her United States national team debut at the 2023 FIBA Women's AmeriCup in Mexico. In her first game, she posted 11 points and 9 rebounds in an 80-54 win over Venezuela. Reese recorded 13 points and 18 rebounds in a 68-49 victory over Colombia in the quarterfinals. She helped her team win the silver medal, posting four points and six rebounds in a 69-58 loss to Brazil in the final. Player profile Reese shooting a free throw for Maryland Reese shoots a free throw in 2021. Reese has a listed height of 6 feet 3 inches, 1.91 meters, and primarily plays the small forward and power forward positions. She has described herself as a big guard, having played the position in her childhood, and can handle and pass the ball. Reese has exceptional mobility for her size and is explosive to the basket. She is an outstanding rebounder due to her athleticism, anticipation, and tenacity, often scoring off putbacks. On defense, her agility allows her to guard perimeter players, and her long wingspan helps her record steals and blocks at a high rate. Early in her college career, Reese struggled with committing fouls, before showing improvement in her junior season. Her shooting outside the paint has been labeled as a weakness, and she rarely attempts three-pointers. She has drawn comparisons to Neka Aguamike and Alyssa Smith. She has modeled her game after NBA players Kevin Durant and Ben Simmons, and WNBA players Candace Parker and Aya Wilson. Reese is known for her assertive personality and trash talk. Brenda Fries, her head coach at Maryland, compared Reese's competitiveness to her former player, Shatore Walker Kimbrough. Off-the-court personal life Reese's mother, Angel Reese, Mae Webb, played college basketball for UMBC, where she was inducted into the Athletics Hall of Fame and her number 10 jersey was retired. She later played professionally in Luxembourg. Reese's father, Michael Reese, with whom she does not have a close relationship, played basketball for Boston College and Loyola, Maryland, before embarking on a professional career in Luxembourg, Cyprus, Austria, and Portugal. Reese was raised by her mother and maternal grandparents, Curtis and Barbara Webb. Her younger brother, Julian, plays college basketball for Maryland and competed for St. Francis Academy. Reese's stepbrother, Michael Hopkins, is a professional basketball player. Her cousin, Jordan Hawkins, plays in the NBA and helped the Yukon Huskies men's team win the 2023 NCAA championship. She is in a relationship with Florida State men's basketball player Cameron Fletcher whom she has known since 2017.
She has described Hall of Fame basketball player and LSU alumnus Shaquille O'Neal as a father figure, Reese majors in interdisciplinary studies at Louisiana State University and majored in communications at the University of Maryland, College Park. She has expressed interest in broadcasting and modeling after her basketball career. She was a member of the honor roll in high school. Business interests Reese is represented by agent Janine Ogbenaya of the Clearview Group, who has worked with her since Reese played for Maryland. She is signed with the Society Management for Managing Her Fashion Endeavors. Reese is estimated to be one of the highest earning college athletes from name, image, and likeness, nil, deals. After her junior season, she surpassed $1 million in nil valuation, leading all women's college basketball players, according to College Sports website on 3. On October 17, 2023, she signed an endorsement deal with Reebok. She was drawn to the company by its new president of basketball, Shaquille O'Neal, and was its first signing since O'Neal moved into the role. Reese has also signed deals with Amazon, Bose, Coach, Discord, Outback Steakhouse, Sonic, TurboTax, Wingstop and Xfinity, among other companies. In July 2023, she announced the launch of the Angel C. Reese Foundation, which aims to empower girls through sports, education, and financial literacy. Due to her success with NIL, Reese was featured alongside LSU gymnast and leading nil figure Livy Dunn on the October 2023 cover of the Sports Illustrated Money issue, titled Generation NIL. Reese has established a large social media following, which grew rapidly after her junior season in college. She entered the 2023 NCAA tournament with 447,000 Instagram followers and surpassed 1 million followers by the end of the tournament. In the following month, Reese reached 2 million followers on the platform. Reese was nicknamed the Bayou Barbie after transferring to LSU. The nickname refers to the location of the school, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and her appearance on the court, with eyelash extensions and long pink nails. She credits a fan in Baton Rouge with creating the nickname, and she filed for and lost a trademark on the Bayou Barbie in her first season at LSU. In popular culture Reese standing at the entrance of an outdoor basketball court named the Angel Reese Court Reese at the Angel Reese Court in Randallstown, Maryland during its ribbon-cutting ceremony in 2023 Reese was portrayed by comedian Punky Johnson on the April 8, 2023, episode of Saturday Night Live. Johnson's skit parroted Reese's gesture at the end of the 2023 NCAA Division I championship game and her dispute over Jill Biden's comments about inviting Iowa to the White House. In 2023, Reese was included in the Time 100 Next list, which recognizes emerging leaders from around the world. She was featured in the 2023 edition of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue as part of the magazine's efforts to empower women. In the same year, Reese appeared in the Harper's Bazaar Icons Issue, which highlights 14 people inspiring cultural change. She was included in the Forbes 30 Under 30 Sports list for 2024 Reese made a cameo in the music video for Put It On De Floor. Again, by Lato and Cardi B, released on June 2, 2023. In the song, Cardi B says I've been ballin' so damn hard, could've went to LSU. On July 17, 2023, the newly renovated basketball court at the Scotts Branch Recreation Activity Center in Reese's hometown of Randallstown, Maryland, was named the Angel Reese Court. Later that week, she threw out the first pitch at a Baltimore Orioles game and was presented with the key to the city of Baltimore from Mayor Brandon Scott.